Yeah, this is wild. I mean, I expected to be doing pretty good damage, and I expected to, like, be able to... get through like these early bosses maybe even quicker than I did on my first playthrough because of how much I know about the game now. I did not expect to one to first try both the first big bosses. Can I kill these things? Probably knock them over. Killing them might be hard though. Can I hit his foot? Yeah. <laughs> probably shouldn't have tried to fight two at once, though. That was probably... Probably not smart. Uh, no, I haven't died yet. In fact, I might do the whole game without dying. It's possible. There's a good chance I'd beat the whole game without dying. Very good chance. <laughs> Deathless confirmed. Uh, I don't think... I don't think I've... Did I die to a boss yet? I feel like I died to... Assassin once or something. But yeah, I've died several times on the map. The, the one that really, like killed me, I had no chance of surviving was the... I got invaded. The NPC invader, when I had no magic left, so I, like, had to just die. Hey, I'm fighting there! Do you mind? Estimated my ability to dodge stuff. But see, the thing about Elden Ring, you fight every enemy in this game like a million times. Oh, he got he got blasted by his by his friend. So I'm pretty dang good at dodging most enemies just from playing through the game. Twice. trouble as soon as he moved like that because I knew it was the fast attack. Gotta wait for the bow shot. I shouldn't be alive. Really hoping that would knock him over. I forgot about the fire. <laughs> I was gonna say, how am I still alive? All right, I want to kill at least one of these things. I don't want to just run past. Diagonally. Oh, okay, wait. If I dodge diagonally, maybe that'll help. Maybe that's the key. Alright, let's just not tick off the other one. How about that? Write that down, write that down. Oh, why, why did the other ones wake up? 
just like Harry Potter. I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh, speaking of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. This thing, this glintstone pebble damage output is nuts if they're actually like stunned. Because you cast it so fast. How did this guy get so close? How did he get so close? Why did he walk all this way? They're cheating! My wife sent me a text and I didn't get it. Now she's like, what the heck? Her phone's been weird lately. It's like not getting texts and like getting some texts but not others. And now apparently it's sending some texts and not others. Okay, if I back up, can we... Oh, they just they just all wake up, I don't know. Maybe I should just try to kill them before this one gets up. I wonder if because of this guy's mechanic with his foot, if he could act... Wait a second, he takes more... He takes more damage on the foot, I just realized! It's not just the boys, it's more damage! I am big dummy. But just... Uh... I wonder if we could actually knock him down with Glintstone Pebble just because of the way the mechanic with the foot works. Like, even though it doesn't do poise damage. But regardless, if I just smack him with Glintstone Pebble on the foot, he's gonna die real fast. <laughs> Was there a Flintstone named Pebble? Or is that the grandson that never happened? Oops. Hit the wrong button. Kill me! I cheated. Oh, Pebbles was the girl, yeah. I was, I was only thinking of Bam Bam. Bam is the best, best character. Dude, I... <laughs> Speaking of taking Flintstone vitamins, I feel like such a boomer. Like, okay, it's my 30th birthday next week, so I'm already like, wow, big boomer feels, right? On top of that, I had to buy fiber pills. Because, <laughs> like, I think I'm not getting enough fiber. It's like I had to order fiber pills. A week before my 30th birthday. Like, I'm pretty much just actually ancient at this point. Take that, foot. <laughs> it's for better internet speeds. I'm gonna start drinking prune juice on stream. I tried, I tried some new fruits on my vacation that I never liked before and now I like them. So yeah, I mean, I'm 
big building. I had honeydew. That was good. I had. Ow. Forget what the other. Cantaloupe. Which isn't like. Everyone eats cantaloupe, but. I like don't eat any fruit. All I eat is apples. So, cantaloupe was like new to me. That was really good. I like cantaloupe. Uh! I mean, I killed one. I. Probably just. Leave it at that. This guy is a jerk, and I want him to. All over! Stop falling over! They didn't have any pomegranate. But I like pomegranate flavored stuff, so maybe. Also, when I was younger, I hated oranges. I love orange flavored stuff, but I couldn't eat just straight oranges. They were like too, I don't know. Too much, too strong. But on my vacation, I had an orange, and I was like, you know what, this ain't bad. So I added several fruit to my repertoire of fruits I'm willing to eat. That's pretty exciting. The fact that I'm excited about that probably says all you need to know. Okay. All over. Right, that was pretty cool. That whole that whole fight was cool. Definitely unique. Pineapple. What about pineapple? I need to try pineapple because. I mean, I'm not like a huge fan of pineapple flavored stuff, but I forget if there's anything over here. Uh, mango pineapple is like big banger. So, wait, the birds attack. I forgot about the birds. I was like, I thought they were just bird. I thought they were just whoop, like eagles. I totally forgot. Wingardium Leviosa. Mango pineapple lemonade. Mango pineapple smoothies. Okay, I have to tell you. Okay. It's speaking Levi of Osa. Speaking of Not smoothies. I went to a McDonald's at Diagonally. on vacation, okay? Let me preface this by telling you I would normally not go to a McDonald's on vacation. We only we only go to like places we couldn't normally go to. Like I told you about that diner I went to. That was like the entire point of the town was that one diner. Like that kind of stuff is awesome to go to on vacation. No one wants to go to McDonald's on vacation. But what had happened was we ordered a pizza from this uh, local pizza place. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. And they said they were going to take 30 minutes. And they were only four minutes away. So we're like, what are we going to do for 30 minutes? So I googled the town we were in. And there was just straight up nothing in the town. Nothing at all. We went there to ride the train. And that was all that was in that town. So it was... It was diagonally, and there was nothing there. So, I put in my Google Maps, like, just stores. Just a, I will just go to a store. We'll just go to Walmart and walk around or something. We found a Dollar General. So, we're on the way to the Dollar General. And my wife sees a McDonald's, and she's like, oh, man, an Icy would be great right now. Because we were super hot from the train ride. 
And so, they can't follow me, right? So I pulled one of these, like literally middle of the street. Oh my God, nice, he sounds so good. So we went to the McDonald's just for drinks and then we were gonna go grab the pizza, right? So I walk in, how's it going, Reezy? Uh, type exclamation mark rules. If you have any other questions, let me know. Um, I order, I, I pull up and I'm like, I would like a, I forget what she ordered. It was like strawberry or something. I don't remember what she ordered at first. It was like, or maybe it was just lemonade, whatever. She was like, I want a lemonade icy. So I was like, we want a lemonade icy. And she goes, a what? And I said, we want a lemonade icy. And she goes, a what? <laughs> and, I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, it's it, it. If you don't know what an icy is, it's. It's one of these. You ever see one of these? Yeah, I don't know. Do you guys have these? It's a slushy, basically. Okay, it's another word for slushy. They're very popular here, so if you order a slushy, a lot of times you'll just say icy. This is an icy. You see one of these? So I guess she wasn't down with the. I mean, my wife called it an icy, but I think it's pretty like common here that if you ordered an icy, it would be like a slushy, right? But then she comes back with, "Do you want?" a coca-cola or a raspberry because it's like the two flavors they had at the time like the special flavors so she didn't really get what we were asking for so she was just like okay just give me the coke one i was like okay so i ordered three of those or two of those one for her one for my son my oldest son and then i say i want a mango pineapple smoothie And she goes, okay. And then we pull around and we get our food. They made a slushy out of the mango pineapple flavoring that they usually put in the smoothies. It was a mango pineapple slushy. I was like, how did this happen? I, <laughs> my order was the most simple one. Like, we got confused with my wife's order because she said icy, and it's technically not an icy. And they were like, what do you mean? Mine was just mango pineapple smoothie. That's just a, an item they have on their menu. It's like, how did this, how did we screw this up? But I tell you what, it was so good. I almost called them and said, hey, you need to add mango pineapple slushies to your menu. Because <laughs> it's pretty good. It just wasn't what I was expecting or wanting. But hey, at least the ice cream machine wasn't broken. Alright, hold on. I got it. I forgot, if I have gestures, I always do them on accident. What McDonald's do you go to? The, the freaking McDonald's. <laughs> the one with the golden arcs. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. What a pathetic excuse for a lord you were. <laughs> Craven to the bone. Pushing me about like that. And after all... <laughs> We got our first rune already. There's something here, right? No? Yes? No? I don't know. 
And there's something. See, Darth. Thanks again for the addition to the trophy quest. I appreciate it so much, man. See if anyone had any questions about the rules. Remember this being important. Oh yeah, it's a great. Won't be doing that quest, so. Uh, it's been incredibly not difficult because light load is just super good. I take more damage, but I never get hit, so it doesn't matter. I beat both uh, both the first two big bosses. One without getting hit, the other I got hit once. So like light load isn't affecting anything. As long as I don't get one shot, we all good. Alright, is this the guy? This is the guy. Sorcery guy. Right. You and believe it or for a Well, you are a true my name. Presume you're only Alright. I already have this. I already have that. So we got Starlight, which is of a waste, but I'll get it. Back to the Why, of course. Mm. Yeah, where um remind me again where Selen is. He's in um Oh, I know where he is. I know where he is. He is right here. Selling be selling spells. What's the easiest way to get to him without getting destroyed by giant creepy plants? Possibly this way. Dude, even just going to a later area and just picking up souls on the ground, you can get like so many, so many runes just from doing that, just from collecting runes on the ground in later areas. Like, I think that... Heroes Rune 3 just gave me as many runes as, like, killing a field of enemies in the first area. I don't think you have anything. Yo, Jack! Thank you very much for the raid. How you doing today? I want this. Wait, that was it? Okay, maybe I exaggerated. Uh Oh, this isn't selling? I'm, I'm big dumb then. I, th I thought this was selling. This guy right here. Where's selling? What are they selling? Chocolate. Oh. Oh. I might want 
to do this whole quest because this quest's awesome. And probably be very good for me. Witchbane ruins. Which. Then I. I went to Witchbane Ruins already, right? I thought. Oh, wait, I did. I think I did right before we started. Oh. That's right. That's where she's being held captive. Her original location is uh, it's hard to tell because I don't have the map. Let me just grab the map real quick. I remember now. Yeah, this quest is awesome. I really liked this quest. And it's really good for magic stuff, so I might want to I want to just go ahead and do this quest as part of part of this playthrough. On the map, on the map, on the map, on the map, on the map. Where is the map? the map at? Isn't it like in here somewhere? Not crazy? Oh, right there. Okay. She's like right here, I think. Across the bridge. Thank you, Jack. I'm glad you're enjoying stream. It's always good to hear. It's not always easy when you're starting off. It's very, very good to hear that you're enjoying yourself. If you, uh, if you ever need help with, like, getting started or just getting people in your chat, because that's the hardest thing about getting started, is just getting people in your chat. Um, we have a section on our Discord where you can post your stream and people in the community will come by and say, hey, kind of help you. Just have someone to feed off of, because that's always the hardest thing. Try. All right, she should be here, I think. Yeah, yeah. she's here somewhere. Thanks, Jack. Have a good one. It's in the cellar, but where's the cellar? There it is. and then knock him over. Oh, 
I love playing up close and personal with this spell. Ah, uh, that was... okay. You guys didn't see that. Ten percent skill, ninety percent luck. Ninety-nine percent luck. Tarnished up. I am sorry you hear. Ah, well, but one must I was ex as a revive you still. <laughs> Very well, but I refuse to anticipate grief. Yeah, that's definitely one of my favorite side quests. I, I think I have not done all the side quests, but um, this one, the needle quest, and uh, yeah, probably those two, honestly. This and the needle quest, probably my favorite side quests. Oh yeah, we got some interesting stuff to try here. I'm gonna need some runes. <laughs> Get some food. Young apprentice, you are a tad so now. Um. I have the royal house scroll. Where that? Is it in the ruins? I might want to start her quest because she helps you with some bosses later. It'd be nice to have her kind of already started. Uh, it looks like I have to buy some stuff from her first before she'll keep talking. Um, and then I can't really do anything more until I go get Comet Azure, Azure which is in Hormit, Hormit? Hermit Village, which is a while from here. So, but At least I'll have her kind of ready to go. I'm going to go get food. Alright, what can I kill around here for some quick runes? I could fight this whole fight. See you, pasta. Thanks for hanging out, man. Dude, this spell. I can't believe you start with this spell. You didn't die. Oh, you died, you didn't die. Dude, it's so strong! Okay, so, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think these fights are literally free, because they're stuck. They're stuck to the thing, so. Make sure I just do this and win. One of the great trees and killed the 
Eltree Guardians, that would probably be a good boost too. Ooh, let's kill that big, big plant. He should have some runes in him. Takes no damage. I'm already kind of wanting to put more points into stamina. So I can spam longer. And in some of the boss fights, it's hard to dodge and then have enough stamina to cast. Like, I can see myself later with some of the bosses and their super long combos. I'm gonna get to the point where, like, I can't have enough stamina to dodge everything and then cast afterwards. Okay. So, stars... This one should be useless, so I shouldn't need that one. And same with this. So that should be good. You wish to very well. I don't know if I need to buy more for her from her to get her text, but I guess we'll wait till I buy the other spell way later in the game. Okay, and then you said I need to pick up a scroll or something. If you told me where it was, I missed it. I'm guessing it's around here somewhere. see any items south of here opposite side of where the ever is oh so it's quite a way I should do that ever goal just for fun So this, I'm guessing. I am just a total goon flying around on my horse spamming spells. Okay, someone told me it's ever jail, and then I said like wait, is it really? And everyone memed, so I didn't know if I was being trolled or not. I mean ever ever jail makes a lot more sense. I don't I don't claim to know how things are pronounced. As soon as I start listening, I get memed, and then people tell me something wrong on purpose. So. It's old English for jail. Okay. I know some old English. I did not know that. Alright, 
we don't need to be here right now, so let's just jump over here. And then I don't know what this scroll does. I don't remember. Oh, wait. Is it... Give it to the dude? For spells? Yeah. Is it... Give it to Thops? <laughs> I know Shakespeare. I'm an old English expert. To the... Oh! To Salin? Really? Magdalene, wonderful. Apollo, I'm afraid. Oh, right. I can tell you what you've seen. That's that. The only it's do after they declare the academy, as you might have guessed, making entry and so on. And when they come... Uh, I didn't remember ever giving her stuff. Turtle Pope. I probably just gave it to one of the others. There you are. Shall we commence? <sighs> Is that a scary well? I'll be sure to inc never lose that. It okay, so yeah. I think this is what you were talking about earlier. The spell here. This also looks amazing. Edit those two. I need twenty five hundred rooms. All right, let's try out some new spells. He is pretty great. I still need to... I want to watch like a Elden Ring lore video. And learn about some of the NPCs that I don't know the lore. Turtle Pope is one of them. I have no idea what the lore behind Turtle Pope is. doesn't seem any better than Flintstone Pebble. It takes slightly longer to cast and it does like the same damage. So I don't think I'm a fan of this one. If I can charge it? No, I can't. I'm too busy dying. Okay, that's slightly stronger if I charge it. Let's see... Do I charge this, or do I spam two pebbles? Because it's about the same amount of time. I think I'd rather just spam pebbles. And all three have to hit for it to be more damage. So yeah, I don't think I'm a fan of this one. Let's try this one. Let's die. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. This one's fun. It's cool, but it doesn't... It doesn't stagger them, so... Oh, you know what I you know what I want to try? I want to try that on the big boys when you knock them over. I bet you that's hilarious. You just sit there and blast them. But for regular enemies, they're just gonna walk up to you and hit you while you're trying to use them. Yeah, I obviously didn't want to look up anything before, but now that I'm officially done with my casual playthrough. Up some of the stuff that I was curious about. 
Yeah, I don't really like this one either. And it costs a lot of FP too. It's not really worth. Let's try this one. Oh, it's so fast! Wow, this is like kind of silly. That that spell is kind of silly. It basically just gives you an attack. It costs like no FP. It just gives you a attack. That's crazy. Oh my god. You just swing as long as you have stamina. Dude, I... I'm not gonna lie. I kinda wanna ban this. <laughs> like, this is a sorcery, but... It basically does exactly what the whole point of the challenge is trying to stop you from doing. I mean, you don't get any combo or like long distance attack or jump attack or... Oh my god, you can jump attack. <laughs> but it's not, it's not any special distance, it's just the same thing in midair. So you don't get the same tools you get from a physical weapon. But, yeah, I don't know. It, it's kind of cheap. I feel like... Hmm. It's not that I think it's OP... It's just that it kind of goes against the spirit of the challenge for me. So maybe I don't ban it. I just won't use it. It's not that it's too close range, because I'm actually using my spells pretty close range as well. There's just something about, like, the whole kind of spirit of the challenge is... You have to use magic, you have to charge up. You know what I mean? Like... I mean, once we get to the end of it, our cast time is going to be really short. But I still have to, like, stand there and cast a thing. That thing is so quick, it's basically like just swinging a sword. Like, I don't think it should be banned, because it does come with its downsides, it does have no range, and it does still cost FP. So I don't think it's like completely OP or like completely ruins the challenge. I think it kind of goes against the spirit, so I'm just not going to use it. Also, Ithacol, they give it the 27 months. It's not like I'm struggling right now and need to use it, so... Sorry, horse. I didn't mean it. Yeah, I don't really have grounds to ban it. Because it's a sorcery, it costs FP... And it's not like it's OP and ruins the challenge. But at the same time, I just feel cheap using it, so...
Dude, this playthrough is so much fun already. I'm playing pretty much every single fight completely differently than I did the first time through. And it's really fun to see what the spells can do in certain circumstances. When I'm completely forced to use them, no matter what. See, I'm I'm enjoying this quite a bit already. There you are. Shall we commence the lesson? Now I can what talk to her a bit. Glimstone, golden amber, wild glint should not let glimpse of fact lock. You wished very well. Lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. Alright. Let's try this spell out. Let's see if we like it better. This one costs 20. This is the most expensive so far. I need to uh, find more memory stones sooner rather than later. That stunned him. So this is good to, like, combo with something else. Not good for this fight, because I have no time to cast it. But for a boss I could stay away from, this would be good. Hey, just get rid of this guy. Then I can do whatever I want. This guy is so obnoxious. Feeling right now. I like how it just hits whoever's near me. It's kind of cool. I don't know if it's worth the cost. It doesn't do a ton of damage. Well, it does. It does good damage, but it's it's the most expensive spell I have. Oh, it's way easier <laughs> than I thought. Only reason I'm dying now is because testing things. But yeah, it's going to get harder. I'm going to have to learn enemies later. Or get totally blasted. Yeah, it just doesn't do enough damage to really... I don't really like it. I'm telling you, Pebble's gonna get me really far. Its damage to FP ratio is just kind of nuts. And the fact that you can cast it so quickly and combo it. Yo, how's it going, Empress? Yeah, we're in the... We're still in the honeymoon phase where a lot of bosses just kind of let us stay away and spam stuff. Will not be like this forever. But I have learned today... Live stream! Thank you so much. Let me get the sub to Empress. Um, I have learned today that sorcery is straight up easy mode for the beginning of the game. There is no boss that punishes you for using sorcery in the first entire castle section. All the way up to the first rune. Speaking of which, I still need to equip. 
Um, all the way to the first rune. Nothing really punishes you for either summoning an ash or even just staying away and just spamming. There was the... Um, the assassin, who I had to... It was really hard to punish him. And then there was one other boss... Well, there was the, the cat. That was honestly going to be pretty impossible to kill if I didn't cheese him. But uh, other than that... Not much punishes you at all. Hello there, sir. I'm just gonna die. Cuckoo! And this move is just hilarious. For AoE. Which I thought was going to be one of my struggles at first. But you start with this move and it's so good for small enemies. Ooh, Glintstone. I wonder if that's anything good for me. And on top of that, if there was anything that resisted magic, which I really haven't run into anything yet, I have the gravity spell. So it's looking like we're pretty set for a while, and now we're going to go to Hogwarts. Really get some good magic stuff. Speaking of which, I can probably equip boots now. Nope. Never mind, I can't equip anything. Probably rest. I totally missed this guy. My first playthrough, walked right past him. Oh, he gives you the astrologer's staff. All the stuff I started with. Should I buy the lantern? Yes, I should. I'm assuming Final Fantasy XII during Phantathon will be OG and not Zodiac Age. You would assume correct. If you ever wonder what version we're playing, just go to the Phantathon page. It says exactly what version of each game we're playing. And yeah, I'd love to try some 12 mods someday, because I really like 12. Um, having said that, I haven't played it in a long time, so I might not like it as much this time around, but I think I will. You give me 29 runes. Are you kidding me? I need like 200 runes. Somebody help me out. Oh god. Time for a true test. The worst enemy in the game, I swear. Like, in terms of functionality and how to dodge his attacks, this thing is the worst. I have light load. So I win, right?
I knocked him over with Glintstone Pebble? You can do that? That was a fight. I feel like all the enemies that were hard for me on my other build are just like free with sorcery. But then there's gonna be some fights where they were easy with dexterity and I'm gonna struggle with sorcery. That is my guess. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. I totally forgot about those guys. Well, if it makes you feel any better, my once a year vacation was last week, so you didn't miss anything last week. I should grab the map. Map the map, the map, the map, 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 map. Purified ruins. I don't remember what's in here. Vacation was amazing. I had so much amazing quality time with my boys. It was just a really, really great time. Boys! Okay, I got the map. I might die, but I got the map. Everything's fine. This is going to be such a big upgrade, because the last time I did this area... I walked around this water for like a million years and never found the key and then just moved on and did this part like a million years later. And now I'm just gonna take Torrent straight to the key. There's nothing else in here I want. This is gonna go from like a four hour adventure to like a two minute adventure. That's the thing that's so wild about this game. Your first playthrough is like 140 hours. Your second playthrough is like 10 hours. Because most of the gameplay is you checking to see if things are in areas. Once you know where stuff is, you're just running to grab it. <laughs> Gotta get the blue line. The most epic item of all time. I said 10 hours, that's probably an exaggeration. Well, I, well this is my new game plus time. It's probably less than, probably like four hours. I don't even know. Super quick. And I did the longest side quest in the game, and it was maybe six hours. say there might be some magic stuff here because this is like the fallen part of the Hogwarts but I can't remember picking up anything around here that was super meaningful
can grab this. Hey, how do I how do I say your name? Is it French or does it just look French? <laughs> Got a little botch it. Okay, it is French. Good. How do I say it? I could just say Amelie du Fromage. It's gotta be close. <laughs> Anyways, thank you very much. I appreciate that a lot. I'm very glad. It's good to have you here. If you have any questions about the live show, Feel free to ask. Or just, you know, yell. Usually the results the results are the same. There's a scroll near Thops. Alright, maybe I'll go get it. I don't feel like I need new spells, but it'd be fun just to check them out, you know what I mean? For anyone else that wants to try this, they'll know what's good and what's not. Or what they want to use. Because everyone has... It, it, most of the spells are viable, it's just kind of your own preference. That's a good idea you're learning in it because the big thing about learning um, big thing about learning languages is listening to people speak it so watching like a stream of a language that you're trying to learn might be pretty beneficial and just kind of having it playing in the background, like may maybe even if you're just doing something else, just kind of having it play in the background and start to hear words over and over again, you start to kind of get the context of them and stuff. It's a really good idea. I'll have to remember that when I decide to finally learn English. up here. Is this a... Yeah, it's a puzzle. Three wise beasts. I don't remember ever doing this puzzle. sir. Hmm. Turtle? Turtle time? Is this like the other one? We have to find three turtles? Excuse me, I believe that's a dog.
sink down. Why? Oh, is there a would be a dungeon there? Where is third dog? Ha! I don't think I ever did this one. I did the other one. The one with the big turtles. That's way harder. This is like the baby version of that. Blue. That's a clue. A clue, a clue. Do that quest on randomizer and all those zombies that come up are like actual enemies. That'd be pretty funny. That was incredibly worth the time. I was gonna say whatever we get probably ain't worth it because we're so pigeonholed into one build. So a lot of stuff isn't worth it. That was definitely worth it. Yeah, we found the flying turtle. I somehow hit the fly... Well, we never found it, actually. I somehow hit it without knowing I hit it. Yeah, I like the tower puzzles a lot. The invisible one was cool. The big turtle one was cool, although the turtle in the sky was silly. I, I really liked some of the puzzle solving they put in this one. map and then we should be pretty close the erudition one yeah we had the do the, the pose in front of it Pretty, I'm pretty certain they don't all have memory stones, but I do know a few. Where? having a brain fart. Where's the key? Thought it was here. But that don't look right. trees are here left here or here not there here here man that's weird I could have swore it was like up here We 
got a straight shot now. Could have swore it was further up. Look how easy this thing to be to kill. This thing has a jump attack though. If I use this like twice, it'd probably fall over. <laughs> or once. These things have like no poise. So. You just healed? I didn't know they could heal. Harry got a little overconfident. There's another one. Alright, check this out. About to end this man's whole career. I was hoping that the pebbles right into his weak spot would do more damage. They didn't do as much as I thought. Knocked him right out of the sky. That's pretty cool detail. I always killed him with crits, so I never knew they could heal. All the little things we're learning just because I have a different style of play forced into a different style of play. Don't do it. Don't you do it. I should have rested at the grace. Because I'm like out of magic now. About to fight our first boss, or first dragon, I mean. We fought plenty of bosses at this point. About to fight our first dragon boss. He wasn't just a dragon, he was a dragon man. He's right there. Need a grace. Uh, there's one up here by the belfries, I think. I was say, I swear I saw one. Get to end today's the first day of the Harry Potter challenge with one of the most popular Harry Potter characters dragon big dragon you're a wizard Harry Leviosa, not Leviosa. Diagonally. So he is literally the Glintstone Dragon. So he is taking no damage to my Glintstone. We have met our first true competitor. He has glintstone resistance. 
But I have Rock Sling. Rock Sling is pretty much all I have. I gotta kill him with this. Only this. die to that. Thanks for telling me about scarabs, though. That's cool. I see I see you died. Want to know about scarabs? Dude, it's cr That rock sling has more poise damage than any weapon I used in my entire dexterity run. All of the super heavy swords, not even close. This one spell. Knocks over enemies in like two casts. It's wild. I used like the heaviest sword in the game at one point. Did not have as much poise damage as this one rocky boy. So this is this is actually really awesome. At the very end of our playthrough for today, we run into our first like actual mage hurdle, because this guy has super glintstone resistance. And he's just, in general, a harder boss. He's a dragon. Also, with light load, his fire one-shots me. So this will actually be quote-unquote a challenge. I have to actually play well. I mean, not that I haven't been playing well up to this point, but you know what I mean. I had a lot more room for error before. I would say my my room for error was that of like a casual playthrough up to this point. But I first tried a lot of the bosses because I have beaten them before and know their moves. And like I said before, this game makes you fight bosses a million, bosses and enemies a million times. So by the time you beat the game twice, you know every single enemy, like the back of your hand. Like the fact that when dragons do that, they attack to the right. Or to the left, I mean. But I went to the right and I still died. Yeah, so it's kind of weird. I didn't really understand it at first when I went through the game the first time because I didn't use the sorcery anyways. But glintstone is like the general word for the blue magic in this game. I thought it was like a special subsection of magic, but really it's like all the magic that isn't fire or gravity or like some special thing. Instead of calling it, like, magic, they gave it a name in this one to make it more obvious. And this is the Glintstone Dragon, so all of my, like, regular blue magic spells do no damage. At first I thought Glintstone was some special, like, stone magic, just because it's kind of a weird name. But it's really just anything that isn't gravity or fire or dragon all the regular blue spells. What you would normally call magic in the other Souls games. Oh! That's not what I thought he was doing. By the way, I'm not using Aurelia because I wanted to kind of make it a bit more challenging. But I could summon Aurelia to help a bit. Summons aren't super helpful in dragon fights, but this guy can probably be poisoned, so. Also, I only have level 1 Aurelia right now, so she's not super great.
Yeah, the two mages that are like dead. That seem to have like some real deep lore to them. That'd be a cool thing to learn about too. At this point, I have a I have some pretty good options with my spells. But I have no options with anything else. I don't have any buffs. I don't have any like defensive options really. I don't have any talismans that help me at all yet. So really I got Rock Sling. That's, <laughs> that's all I got. Rock Sling and some really terrible armor. I got the damage. What I lack is the utility. I don't have any way to survive his moves, so I just gotta hope Rock Sling damages enough. Which, given it's already knocked him over three times, I think it's gonna be enough. Oh, I got lucky. He never Fire Breath. I never Magic Breath. A bit lucky there. There we go. What a great way to end off the first section. Epic dragon battle. So, perfect place to stop because the next time we'll go to Hogwarts and start getting all the, like, magic-specific armor and... <laughs> to, to Hogwarts! <laughs> um, we'll get the staff that's in there, too, that I thought would be the main staff for this run. But given how good this meteor staff is, we might stick with it. Or at least I'll have both as options. So, uh, so yeah, looking forward to that. Wingardium Leviosa. Looking forward to Wingardium Leviosa. Go ahead and do that too. All right, that'll be it for the Harry Potter challenge. Until next time.